is now on. And I'm going to share my screen so that we've got visual to the notes for the screen. Yeah, here we go. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Excellent. Okay. All right. So, Zenab, what topics would you like to put on the agenda? Uh, sorry. Um, okay. So, um, I would like us to talk about um, the structure of the um, Kubernetes volumes we are going to be creating. So what are the contents that is going to be in this volume? Because we've been talking about a lot. We talked about Helm, Chat, Jenkins, um, plugin, Kubernetes plugin. So um, I think I would like if we can streamline it to um, actually point out the topics or the content that we want to cover in the documentation. Say, for instance, installing um, Jenkins on Kubernetes. Um, like, what are the content that we want this volume to have? I would like us to discuss that. Then also, um, I was hoping Thorsten would be able to join this call, but since he's not, maybe in the next meeting, I would also like us to agree, like, maybe when it would be convenient for us to meet so um, we can have the knowledge sharing session um, we talked about. Yeah, so uh, that's good. So that's uh, that was what I think of as the Helm Chart Overview Meetup and the Katakoda Meetup. Were there others in addition? So let's let's call maybe we should call those two knowledge sharing sessions. Yes, it would be nice to you know point out all the sections we need to have so we can know how to schedule schedule um, the sessions so we can start working on the documentation. Then also um, the plan. I think it would be nice to review the plan and the timelines I created during the application phase so we can see if we need to make any adjustments or updates. Yes, and I think not just reviewing, but reviewing and refining uh, exactly. the timeline. Um, the project timeline yeah so we can use the the, pro the project proposal is a great start but certainly it needs more detail and more 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 safety checks if you will more checks that okay does this express what we need because i think you had a very very good idea right here in the structure of kubernetes on jenkins how should that section be structured and that exactly. will significantly affect what should the project timeline be and what should we work on first, etc. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. What else? Um, also, I I've been going through the um, links that Mikey Jackson sent on Katakoda. Mm, good. And, and so far, I think I'm good. I, I understand the concept, and it would be nice to create um, something, a scenario for Jenkins on Kubernetes using this. Maybe something about installing Jenkins on Kubernetes. So could could you give me a brief overview? It's a it's a tr I'm used to it as a training system. That yes, exactly. It's like yeah, it's like a training system. It takes you um, through 
um, practical steps. It gives you like a playground to practice. Maybe like um, say installing Kubernetes. So it takes you through the practical steps of um, carrying out that process. That's what it's like. So um, say for instance, if we were to put um, Jenkins, something on Jenkins on Kubernetes, it would be like a guide that will take um, users on how to install Jenkins on Kubernetes and actually give them a playground to practice these commands. So it's very practical. So it, 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 to the student, it feels as though they have access to a Kubernetes cluster and they can exactly. use that. Nice, okay, yes. great. Yes. Great, okay. And now is there a is there a cost to that? Is there some 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 price that they're going to charge you for oh you've used this or are you allowed to use it for free initially? Um yeah, so actually um creating a repository on my account and I've not released I've not seen anything on um, pricing yet so I'm trying to go through the whole process but if anything if I notice anything on pricing I'll communicate with the mentors great all right excellent that's that's very encouraging you know um, so also, I opened a pull request for the project page on GitHub, and um, Oleg dropped a comment about the layout. I'm trying to resolve that, but I'm not really sure how to. So he mentioned that I might need to use GSOC layout or use a generic project layout. Yes, so 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 this may be a so Jenkins.io as a site has the concept of layouts mm -hmm. and, and they are defined structures for subsections of the site. And and there isn't what he's saying here is there isn't one for the Google season of dogs. But there is there is one for Google Summer of Code, and so we could try using the one with Google Summer of Code as an experiment, or we could use instead of Google GSOD project, you could just use the, the layout project, and okay. then then see how that feels to you. So okay. let's see, we could look at we could probably look at examples. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I've got, well, we could check to see, maybe I do have examples here. Let's look. So if we look at, I think it's in content data, and I would bet that, no. There it is, it's content underscore layouts. Oh. So the allowed layouts are in content underscore layouts. And here's the Google Summer of Code page layout. And here is the project layout. You could conceivably say, oh, I think, I think we need a separate Google season of docs. And you okay. could then create this page in the layouts folder here. So that you could have a Google season of Google Summer season of Docs layout, um, and and then it's just a matter of okay, is this the layout that you want? And if so, yes, you could you could derive from that layout. Now I hadn't I hadn't looked at project layout. Let's see how it looks. It says. Yeah, project looks pretty simple. So it 
it, you could also consider using project. But here are, these are some these are some choices that you have for page layouts that you could you could reference there. Okay. Okay. Now I, I don't was that at all helpful for me to navigate around like that? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Good. Thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll go through the layout and see if I can use an existing layout or if I need to create a new one. I'm okay. Finished. And now, now as a, I assume that you're using a, uh, let's see, let me, I assume that you're using the make run command so that you can see how the page looks. Yeah. Okay. Because. If I do a hub PR checkout and look at your PR, which is 3686. And I will try to do some review of your of your pull requests today or tomorrow. Okay. Run. There we go. Okay, and this was the page you were creating was oh. Google Summer of the Google Season of Docs. Okay, so yeah. Interesting. Okay, how would I locate it? Oh, maybe by this. So, so this yeah, I think I actually wanted to say something about this also, because I noticed that when I wanted to navigate to um, the Google Season of Docs project page, I had to go and get the links from um, Google Season of Docs website. I couldn't find somewhere to navigate to it from right, um, which I O. Right, which is probably a good reason for us to. So you you see here that we've got navigation for sub projects. So Google yeah. Summer of Code has one, but we don't have a Google Season of Docs navigation, and mm -hmm. we would also want it to be linked into the documentation page, here, so that we could find it. But I think I think it should be part of the top level navigation also. So mm -hmm. so absolutely so. This page is the, is the intro page, but I would think this page should be linked into the navigation somehow, and then your your content could be added, for instance, right here with links to this new page that you're creating. So okay. document Jenkins on Kubernetes. Let me see if I can get to it. So that is GSOC 2020 projects. Oh, oh, here we go. Doc. Oh, oh, very good. Oh, no. Okay. So that, oh, oh, that is it. Okay. But it, mm -hmm. ah, yes. Okay. And this is, this is the reminder to us that what Oleg was saying was, was crucial. Exactly. This is what happens because there's no project and it's referencing a non-existent, or a, a, no layout. It's referencing no. a non-existent layout. And so it's, it's doing a completely unstyled page. That's yeah. cool. Okay, good. So it, it is linked there. The, the project is linked. That's a good sign. But um, I think you're right that we need something here in the navigation. I would yeah. think we would want it as a sub project. So um, would it to do now be, would it be to move the content um, from the current directory to 
the sub project directory or create a, an entirely new page? Um, so I would think now I'm, I'm not, I'm certainly not definitive. I have to think hard about these kind of things and sometimes I make okay. mistakes, but I would think, uh, let's see, so let's, let me make some notes here into the marker commands. Um, add Google season of docs to the sub projects menu below Google or up, actually above because it's alphabetically above above Google summer of code and have that link Let's see that should properly link to the wouldn't we want it to link to the Google season of dogs to there, just to this page So documentation sig, Google season of docs, this page, I would think the, the page that it's going to open here, this page should be the one that's linked from the sub projects. And okay. we would put your project above the project ideas, right? Okay. Because for me, a real project is much more valuable than a project idea. And so this section okay. down here where, oh, let's see where you would add projects. I would put it actually up. Yeah. So you've added it here. I would be much less shy and I would put it at the very, very top right below this paragraph. Okay. So that way it's immediately grabs them. Oh, we had all these ideas, but here's the one we accepted. It's the top. Okay. All right. So now let's, let me get that page embedded. Okay. Okay, good. All right, and then move the projects paragraph to the top. Of, or, or to near the top of that page because it, it this is it's certainly more more important for readers than the ideas the ideas are great but we've got one that we're working on mm -hmm. Now is that still now now back to your question. I think you were asking, are there other places we should put navigation to Google Season of Docs? Right? So we've got the documentation page here. We could consider, for instance, moving Google Season of Docs up to the very top because it's our current focus. So on this page, it seems like where we've got a list of projects and these, these projects have been going on, but why not move Jenkins on Kubernetes right to the very top of that set? Oh. Yeah, Sorry, well, and, and, and is this a place where, do you think Zinab, you would be willing to put Put, so here's a topic, and could we put your project as the topmost link now here to say, look, documenting Jenkins on Kubernetes because we're going to work on this for the next three and a half months. Okay. Okay. We get it. Another one to consider at least. Yeah. Now, I don't, these could be separate pull requests. You don't have to bundle them all into the same pull request. You know, yeah. there's, there, these are, okay. and, and all of these you should consider optional, right? And this is just me offering ideas. So add okay. Jenkins on Kubernetes project. Let me 
is the time to do docs projects. section because I think I think that will help people find it more readily yeah thank you very good any other question on that on the pull request no that's it more note here because I didn't make a note of this it was something about uh, let's see now, review the layouts and choose either create a new one or choose one that or choose existing yeah. great Okay, so my next question is about the introductory blog post. Okay. So I feel like there's so many content around um, introduction to the project, like the project page. Then um, this blog post, is it going to... Um, my question rather is around the content of the blog post because I remember you mentioned something about um, me writing about she could Africa. So I'm trying to like figure out what um, this blog post is going to be centered on. Uh, good, good question. And, and I'm, I'm, I think we're open to whatever, whatever you would like to write about. My okay. thought had been that, that uh, Kubernetes Jenkins on Kubernetes is, is a, is a really cool thing to introduce, introduce okay. and uh, invite others to help, right? Invite others to okay. assist. That, that's, that's a, that's, that for me was the sort of the headline is, look, here's what we're doing. And now I think you had done something like that for CDF, right? Yeah. I thought that I had. Uh, I don't. I'm not finding it immediately. But you had okay, written the blog. I, think I have. I have. Okay, so I'm not I'm not finding it, but I can link to it later. I'm sure it's there. Okay. Yeah, my experience contributing to Jenkins. Something about right. So so my thought was, okay, you could note, hey, Jenkins on Kubernetes, and this mm -hmm. is what we're introducing. Uh, you could probably give a summary of summarize the timeline. Right. Okay. That, hey, we're going to we're we're in the community bonding phase now. And okay. so we're, getting, we're in the getting ready mode. We start writing. Um, official writing starts, I think it's September. It went, no, no, is it, is it, maybe it's October. I don't remember the timeline, but let's, let me grab it real quick over here. So we start. Ah, so, so we are one week away. So yeah, so good. So September 14. So we've got one more week of community bonding and then we start the actual writing. And that lasts for, for three months. And we're looking forward to, to working together.
and then I assume links to the uh, project pages, okay. etc. Does does Zenob does that make sense to you? And is that okay? Yes, to it you? does. Yes. I mean, I'm I'm personally fascinated by She Codes Africa, but I, as I think about it, I'm not sure how I would put She Code Af She Codes Africa into this. Exactly, that was post. that was my confusion because I was right. trying to figure out how to piece in um, information on She Code Africa and information on Jenkins in the same article. Right, and and I think you're right. It, that doesn't. That's that's not a logical. There's not a logical connection between them. So yeah, you're absolutely right. I shouldn't have shouldn't have mentioned something so peripheral to the the, the key objective of Jenkins on Kubernetes. Great. Any other question on the blog? Um, no, that's all. Now, access to the Kubernetes cluster. I've asked for donation from a cloud provider um, and that I've been involved with just recently, and I will ask for donations from others. Um, have you used already the Microsoft Azure $300 credit? No. Okay, so that might be a way for you to get cluster access for at least a month. Um, okay. That's now certainly if you, if Minikube can if you use Minikube and local, that's mm -hmm. that's the best because then you don't have to bother with cloud or internet access. You can do it entirely on your own computer. And I think ooh, ooh actually wasn't this one that we we had agreed on a knowledge transfer that. Marky mentioned that there were other techniques like Minikube that would let you run locally that might be worth a, a discussion and a knowledge transfer, a knowledge sharing session to say, hey, here's this. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, I think, I think that uh, Marky Jackson mentioned other alternatives. for local Kubernetes cluster access and a knowledge sharing session might be a good to review and discuss them. Because as you're, as you're presenting to, as you're thinking of how people will use this, knowing that there are multiple ways to access a cluster may be very helpful. So let me let me take the action item to look for times when we could do those knowledge sharing sessions. Does a doodle invitation work for you as a way we've used that in the past, yes. right? Okay, great. Yes. Great. Okay. So I will I will send those proposals for a helm chart session and katakoda for sure. Okay. And then if if in Thursday's session with Marky, if Marky is able to say, oh, yes, uh, here, let's talk about these other alternatives, we could schedule a session for that as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you had asked the question about the structure of the Kubernetes on Jenkins section in the documentation. I'm a little concerned that I'm not the best expert to give coaching on that. Do you want to offer some of the ideas you had that I could note into this document and then and then we can review them on Thursday with others, other mentors? How would you like to do that? Um, well, because I myself, I'm not really sure if I'm going to mention contents, most of what I'm going to mention is going to be um, the content I have in my proposal. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, everything I'm going to mention is going to be from the proposal I created, the proposed structure. So I think it would be great if we have the other mentors around so we can all look at the content in the proposal and see which ones are okay or what needs to be updated. Great, so what we would do is review the proposal in next session, uh, refine and update. Is that a yeah. fair way to say it? Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me put a link to your proposal here. So let's see, and I think we've got that right here. That one, ah, yes, this one. This one. This one. Ah, yes, this is the one I wanted to link to. So if you're okay with that, could we walk through that just to help me remember one one more? It yeah. is here. We've got okay, Jenkins documentation on Jenkins on Kubernetes. And think that so introductory section what is kubernetes and then i think you can go down to the last page it outlines just the content ah oh very yeah. good excellent here we go okay thank you perfect because that Okay, perfect. So getting started. Docker images using a Jenkins file. Okay, then alternative cloud providers. Yes. So this, this looks like a great thing for us to discuss with the other mentors next, next mm -hmm. session. Yeah. Cause it would be nice to have like a skeleton of what the new Kubernetes volume is going to look like, even if we don't have the content yet. So we can be updating the skeleton as time goes on with content. Right. Right, absolutely. Well, and and there are things things that I would assume we would want here, like uh, how to use the Kubernetes plugin, and what does it mean to use a, I've heard the term sidecar image, a, a how do you using Docker well with with the Kubernetes agents and th mm -hmm. those kinds of things that I assume would be good to capture here. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Let's see, and there are, I would assume we will want something about Helm charts. And I guess that's probably part of installing. Yeah. Now, one that, that is a perplexity for me is making Windows using Windows in Kubernetes. Mm. 
Okay. And I don't, it's called it is Microsoft Windows. And, and uh, agents, I, I think is the, the crucial one where it's Docker images for Windows, uh, building for Windows. Etc. Okay. Any any other areas there that we should discuss on structure while we're while we're getting ready for Thursday's meeting with the other mentors? Um, I think that's all. Okay. All right, and I have this action item to send. Any other topics that you feel like we need to discuss today? Mm, no, I think that's all from me. Okay. And I don't see any other topics either. Great. All right. So, so I think we it might help us if you and I both spent some further time gathering ideas for the structure of the Kubernetes on Jenkins section, that, okay. that way the other mentors have can look at the ideas and say, no, that's a poor choice, or oh yes, that's a good one. It should be prioritized okay. this over that. Um, the, the thought for me was if we give them ideas, they can tell us, oh no, that's a bad idea much more readily than if we take make them generate the ideas okay so um Okay. That's all that I had then, Sinab. Anything else from you? Okay. Um, oh, I thought you wanted us to work on more ideas for the structure. Y yes, but I was assuming we would do that independently so that you don't have to okay. be stuck on a phone call. Uh, that That's way great. You, you can you can think about it separately and we'll we'll just let let you think about it i'll think about it we'll make some notes in this document and okay. and then then when we get to thursday we can use those notes to help in the discussion with the other mentors okay that sounds great all right i think we're set then thank you very much thanks and i apologize for the the slow start today thank you very much for the reminder and we will plan to meet let's see our next session will be 2020-09 what day calendar it will be the 10th okay And I will post a copy of the, uh, or I will post a link to the recording of this session so that we've got a, a recording of it. And I'll put the recording hyperlink right on this document so that you can find it if you need to see the recording again. Okay.
All right. Thanks, Zenob. Thank you. Enjoy Bye. the rest of your day. Bye-bye. You too.